아, 최우원 선수 자 마지막에 의료선으로 병력을 채우고 대규모의 병력으로 한 번에 아, 최진진이 선언하게 스트레스입니다 정종현 선수가 지금 결승을 진출하게 됐군요 That is right. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Code A Grand Finals between Bomber and MVP. I am ah. so stoked today. It is going to be absolutely amazing. Before these games start, go tell everyone you know that That's the right. best TVT series in this entire season, Code A and Code S, is about to start. Tell all your friends on Facebook, go on Twitter and hashtag the GSL, go on Battle.net Broadcast your real ID friends. Tell them that Bobber and MVP, two of the best turns in the entire world, are about to play a best of seven series. I know. I am so stoked for the finals today. Yeah. It's going to be epic. You do not want anyone you know or have ever known to miss this. How are you feeling today, Doa? I'm feeling great. I wanted to add to that if any of your relatives are having babies, tell them to hold it because. That's the Code right. A finals are about to happen. I think tomorrow morning there's going to be a lot of babies named either Bomber or MVP because That's right. they're going to be watching it in their hospital rooms while they're giving, yep. giving birth. Boom. And uh, I can't think of any reason why they wouldn't be watching the Code A grand finals. That's what I'm going to name my kid someday. <laughs> That's what you're going to name your kid? One is going to be Bomber, one's going to be MVP. <laughs> you're going to make them like, play well, StarCraft be... against each other? That's right. That's right. Awesome. Now go, best of seven. <laughs> That's right. Little Lenoch, get to your computer. <laughs> That's what it'll be at the, be uh, the Doha household That'd be someday. Good. Whoever gets <laughs> whoever gets uh, straight A's gets into code S of the family. That's right. right. That's right. There's gonna be code A and code S in my family. That's right. It's like, oh, you oh, you lost man. your brother. Sorry, you're going down to code A. That means you have to sleep in the basement. No, seriously and, though, uh, we do not. Uh, you know, this is code A. It's kind of the qualifying tournament for Code S, where the real big bucks are. So we can't yeah. quite pull out the hashtag card that often. But we are pulling it out today, ladies That's and gentlemen. Right. It is the finals. We want you all to go on Twitter and tell all your friends, hashtag the GSL. Let's see if, even though this is Code A, this is seriously it's huge. going to be yeah. a more epic, more hardcore, more high-level match than a lot of the Code S matches have been well, so far. So go hashtag the GSL. Let's see if we can actually get it trending for the Code A finals. I think we, we can do it. Can. And this yeah, match absolutely. is going to be worthy of that kind of attention, definitely. And here's the thing, is that this could be this could be a Code S Finals. It really could, it could. be. The caliber of the two players that we're going to see today, I'm MVP and Startail Bomber, it, it could be a Code S Finals. They are that good. I would put Bomber up against anyone in Code S any day of the week, yeah. and I'd feel confident that he would come out on top. I mean, I'm pretty sure that both of these guys, whatever the turnout today, are going to probably end up in at least the round of eight of Code S. The next they could season, go well. MVP. You know? I mean, of course, he's well, won MVP, two he's championships won already. But I think Bomber, Bomber could go really deep. He could really go could. Very deep in the tournament as we'll well. Have to see uh, who he ends up playing. Actually, we're going to see that after the matches today. Yes, Stick indeed. around. Let's check out those players, though. There he is. There's Startail Bomber, and a bomber he is indeed. Dropping. Exploding onto the scene. That's right. Dropping fuels like they were bombs. He came to drop bombs. He came to drop bombs. So, watch him drop bombs. That's right, man. <laughs> he is going to be bombing. That's right. Bombing these maps to pieces with tons of explosions, siege tanks, hopefully some and nukes. Marines. Hopefully some nuclear That's missiles right. today. That's right. If there are armies, ideally nukes will be landing on them. Indeed. It's Indeed. True. The nuke may land on his army. Um, this is going to be hardcore. It's a best of seven. Yep. We're going to oh. see. The map's probably a little bit later on. The first map is going to be Crossfire, and there's MVP himself. Yep. Typing away, both players chatting to each other. You know, actually, they were here early, and yeah, they were. You know, sometimes people get these rivalries, and they're really focused on beating their opponent, what have you. Both these guys are relatively secure in the up and down matches, at the very least. So they were actually before the match. They were actually uh, just joking around, talking yeah, about the match with the out. IM coach and one of the Korean commentators, just yep. hanging out. So they're they're being pretty jovial here, despite the fact they're gonna be meeting an epic 
battle on Crossfire within minutes. Mortal Kombat! Indeed. That's right. Indeed. You know, actually, they've already competed today. A Rommer has already bested MVP today. Oh. I'll tell you more about that after we go over the maps. The first one is going to be Crossfire SE. Then we're going to go on to Crevasse, a lot of very large maps today. Terminus Re is going to be the third set. And Metalopolis, Bomber told us beforehand that that is his least favorite map. He usually thumbs it down. Yeah. But he's going to have to play on it today one way or another. Then we're going to check out Taldrum Altar in set five, Zell Naga Fortress in set six, and then Dual Sight for the final map if we get that far. And Bomber told us as well that that is actually his favorite map yeah. right now in the GSL map pool. So he's hoping to get there. He uh, he told us that um, when he has when he's honest with himself, he thinks that uh, MVP is is going to win. But he said uh, if he does, it's going to be four three. We can only hope. I hope it goes to a game seven. Yeah. The more Bomber versus MVP I get to watch today, the happier I'm going to be. That's right. Like it's going to be exponential. Indeed, That's indeed. For sure. Uh, yeah, he basically said that he th considers MVP the number one Terran right now. Yeah. But he said and if he wins so. today, he will consider himself the number one Terran. And rightly so. so. And rightly so, yeah. indeed. Um, get back to my story real quick. Yes, they were standing around talking about the match before things were going on. I came up to him and I said, "All right, you guys are gonna guy by bow for the championship." <laughs> All right, game one's gonna start. Let's see how it goes in the Starcraft match right now. All right, here's our Red Terran at the bottom of Crossfire, a member of the Team Startail, the challenger. He is the one and only Startail Bomo. Kai Bai Bo is the uh, Korean equivalent of rock, paper, scissors, by the way. Yeah, I always lose it when we have or, to decide who's going to clean up after a meal at the Gom House. <laughs> Moltrap knows this. And here he is, the phenomenal I am MVP. The game genie Terran. That's right. Known for, on occasion, being special behind, code. but just putting in some cheat codes and getting ahead anyway. That's right. Uh, oh, MVP fighting. That's what it says. Nice. All right. So, big thanks to LG, Intel, and G-Skill for sponsoring the GSL. Without them, of course, we would not be seeing this match today. I don't know what I'd be doing today if I wasn't casting I'd be, the GSL. I'd, I'd be sitting in my bed, lettering. crying tears of pain that there was no Wishing Starcraft that there was a two. GSL. Wishing, wishing I could watch right. the GSL. Now, uh, Bomber has a little bit of an edge going into this matchup. He did win the guy by bow. Oh. Best of one against MVP. What did he pick? Rock, uh, paper, He scissors. went for paper, man. Paper? MVP throwing out nice. the good old standard Brock. Bomber doing some metagaming. Oh. Going with the paper. And we see Hello. a Broxy Barracks in that beautiful location that cannot be seen by the Zeldaga Watchtower. Just barely missed by MVP. Bomber coming out swinging already today. Bit of a proxy barracks, but MVP with that wall off is going to make Ooh. it a little bit difficult for Bomber to actually make anything work with yeah, that. Bomber's not going to be able to get in there, and Bomber has chosen to put his depots next to his command center instead of walling, so MVP gets a full scout and sees no refineries, although you can assume one that actually man. might be in uh, yeah. uh, on purpose because intentional, that's what it's going for, because now he wants MVP to think he's expanding when he's putting on two racks pressure. That's right. Factory going down for MVP, so we will be going into a little bit higher tech path, but no second gas yet, so we might see possibly a siege tank. Once in a while you see Banshees and Blue Flame Hellions off of one gas, but not too often. There's MVP again. And yeah. so this pressure that Bomber is going to put on him, I'm really curious to see if this is going to work. Um, he might be able to catch that SCV. SCV oh. does see one Marine. That might tip MVP off. Yeah, he didn't see the other two, though. But he is pulling some... No, he's just putting a couple Marines on top uh, of the ramp. Two, uh, he's at a disadvantage Marines. here. Can he do any damage? Bomber intelligently Find pulling out. the injured Marine back, so it's still big pot shots without killing. Get it killed. He's going and after the supply depot. Smart decision there. If he can break that down, that's a huge, huge deal. Uh, he's getting repaired now. firing. Oh, he got the SCV. He's already done pretty well. And yeah. the last Marine for MVP. Oh, he's solo health. The second Marine pops out. This is 
gonna come down to some impeccable micro on both players' parts. Wow. Focus firing down the injured Reen. Injuring the other one, a Hellion oh, comes out though. Hellion. That could be the turning point to pushing this back. That is gonna be it. Oh, the Hellion coming out to chase down the Marines with some good micro. We can take him out. Wow, and Green that people was in the red, so he got he got that Hellion out just in time. Yeah, and wow. And expanding to the gold base after Ooh. that. Wow, hidden, hidden gold base expansion after that pressure, hoping that MVP is stuck in his base for a while. Now MVP looking for that proxy barracks somewhere, possibly, and oh. already. Oh, is he gonna? He might go to the. He's finding the gold. Oh, he sees, he sees it. it. Uh oh. He knows what's happening now. Yep. And MVP <laughs> going for blue flame hellions in the background now, and this uh -oh. is actually a really good choice because that means that bomber's gonna be spread out. He's gonna be on low tech. Yeah. He's not gonna have much to uh, answer these uh, hellions, and in fact, going mass barracks in his main. So he is definitely not going to have any tech out anytime soon. Yeah, it's really going to be difficult for Bomber to hold that gold base. I mean, if he would have been able to keep it secret, keep it safe as Gandalf prefers you do, then uh, he might have been able to get some use out of it. But it did get spotted. Yes. And already such great play from both players. That just little engagement on the ramp, the micro yeah. that we saw there. And and you know what? Wow. I think Bomber actually came out a little bit ahead in that micro battle too. He did. He killed a lot of Marines. He did a lot of damage to that supply depot. Of course, repairing does take some minerals. Not a lot, but a little bit. Bomber picking up and leaving the gold. I think that's the right decision to do. Yeah, he was he was picking off as MVP's a, injured Marines, whereas MVP yeah. was not getting those injured Marines as quickly. And there goes those Hellions. Now, the game between Bomber and MVP in the team league that we saw, Hellions like, oh, I could swear there was a building here before. Um, the game between <laughs> them, on, them on the team league, oh, there's a building. Um, Bomber was actually quite a bit ahead for a lot of that game. It was on Teldrim Altar. Bomber did pretty well. Eventually, MVP, because he's amazing, was able to come back to win the game. But um, they, it definitely was close. Very, very close. A lot closer than a lot of TBTs you see played against I'm MVP. Yeah, they actually met before in that pivotal match as yeah. part of the. It was very pivotal. And that was two months ago already. Yeah, that was a couple so months ago. Bomber both of these players improved were improved. Yeah. Well, MVP too. I mean, both of these guys are so good. Just getting better every day. Yeah. Now, I like this uh, bomber. He's just flown that extra orbital back to his base, using it to make some more SDVs, get some more mules out. Yeah. And he's probably gonna just float it down to his normal expansion. But MVP getting his up a little bit earlier, taking map control back with those Hellions. Yeah, it's so time. difficult to take map control when you've got just a bunch of Marines and there are Hellions out on the field. Bomber does have a couple more Marauders on the way as one out right now, but MVP, as you said, Moltrap is going to be at the incoming. Is going to be able to get the income going a little bit quicker again. And Bomber may suspect, but he doesn't actually know that MVP has that expansion yet. He is floating his own down there and has gotten out some Marauders as well. He's got two Tech Labs, yep. which is a very smart move considering the fact that there are Hellions out on the field, and he's made a lot of Hellions. And he's actually got a reactor on one of his factories, so MVP is definitely going to be going for mech here with only one barracks. And so the Marauders are definitely the right choice to make on that. Oh. Yeah, I mean, depending on the... Oh, no! Oh, here come the Hellions! Oh, so many SCVs being taken out! The Blue Flame is not a Blue Flame of Mercy, Moltrap. Wow, I think he took out six or seven SCVs in that engagement. Yeah, that, that was, was pretty really big bad considering for Bomber. he only lost a single Hellion. Yep. And really, I mean, if the Hellion kills one SCV, that's enough to make it cost-effective. Since you, of course, lose the 50 minerals for the SCV, the mining time, and 50 minerals to replace it, which is more than the 100 minerals that the Hellion costs. Yeah. A little now, bit of StarCraft math for you guys out there. Now, this is really interesting. Stim is about to finish, and Bomber yep. has moved a large army across the map, yep. mounting outside of MVP's base. He might try know. to stim in here. MVP's oh. gonna find out about it. Stim finishes, he stims and runs know. down the ramp. There are three tanks there, he needs to pick them off immediately. One goes down, SCV's trying to repair the other. The third tank is gonna oh, go down to the Marauder fire. And these four Marauders left may win the day. The bunker is empty, the Marines going to finish them off, but lots right. of damage has been done. And the tank count kept very low. Wow. And actually, oh my gosh, we just missed in the main base of Bomber. Hellions ran in during that. Oh no. There are Hellions in the main base. Blast has to be going down. What's the worker count right now? Oh goodness. 25 to 42. The Hellions do get cleaned up, but Bomber, man, these Blue Flame Hellions are 
like a nightmare. Man, I I uh I completely missed that. All of us missed yeah. that one, that drop because there was a battle going on in the front of MVP's base was going on. Yeah. But that was I mean that's that's something that Bomber said when we were talking to him earlier, he said, you know, MVP's very good at multitasking. He yep, didn't think he right. was as good, and that's where the multitasking comes in. Yep. He was able to micro that battle and micro the Hellions in at the same time and take a yeah. lead. 75 supply to 53. Maybe it wasn't the best engagement for Bomber either, though, you know, really running into the, the base like that. He didn't know there were three siege tanks there. So, you know, once you stim down the ramp, you're a little bit committed. But yeah, you're definitely committed. Definitely not the best engagement for Bomber ever. Oh, oh Bomber's going all in. He knows he's behind. And it's time. He only has oh, the Hellions. 10 Marauders. Yep. Oh, no. Uh oh That's a fighting force. He's got 10 Marauders and 8 Marines to his name and a yep. bunch of SCDs. Uh-oh. He's going to go for one last attack. And this is not going to work. Bomber, I don't think he's going to be able to do this. Losing way too much of the siege tanks. GG time, I think. There GG it is. coming for Bomber. I'm MVP. Takes game one with wow. some great blue flame Hellion play. A little bit of a yawn. Like, oh, I'm just getting started. Come on, MVP. <laughs> well, he is in for a long haul. This is the best of seven. We're going to play a minimum of four maps. Bomber kind of sitting back, shaking his head. And, you know, uh, again, coming back to that conversation we had, yeah. uh, he said if he doesn't make any mistakes, Bomber thinks that he would win. Yeah. But if he does, he's pretty sure MVP is going to win. And. You know, letting those Hellions into his base while he was attacking there. That's a there, pretty big mistake. That's a decent mistake. Yeah. I, I might even call it maybe bit. more of a good move by MVP than a mistake, but definitely at a disadvantage there. An MVP, the Game Genie Terran, typing in some codes. That's right. Taking the cartridge, <laughs> blowing it, blowing all the dust out so it works properly so that he can win game one. You ever have to, like, do... You know what, what I have to do with my old Nintendo? It doesn't work unless I take, like, a... Matchbook or like a who has matches anymore? Never mind. Matchbook. I'm, I talk like him. Well, we're talking or about Nintendo like, cartridges. You're right. Okay, never mind. So. That's a, I'm already dating myself. But you know how you take like the big Lego thing and like stuff it between the cartridge and the top of the Nintendo so it like stays down. Oh, did the That's the only way work? mine works anymore. If I want to play some Duck Hunt for, or some Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, my cousin, my cousin Brian, actually reset the points counter in Duck Hunt in the clay pigeon thing. You mean he got all the way up through the top? He got all the way up so wow. that the numbers went back to zero again. It took him like four hours. Was he actually Didn't standing back from the TV though? Yeah, or was no, he like he sitting was. there putting the gun against no, the screen? No, it was legit. It was legit. That guy knows how I to use the I swear on my Nintendo. It's That's true. That's the trick. Use yeah. the little plastic sight. He's, I don't know, he was tip amazing. for you newbies. Yep. Sorry I had to tell that story. No, that's all right. And while you guys are processing that story, go on Twitter that's and right. put the number sign... The pound sign, you might call it. Hashtag it's known as. I like pound. In the, in the tweeting world. Pound GSL. Hashtag GSL. Put that on there. Tell your friends, oh my god, Bomber's playing MVP. Like that in all caps. Yeah. And tell them where to go, gomtv.net. They can watch the at, best series ever. And then uh, at Moltrap, at DoaSC. Yep. Be like. If you follow both of us on Twitter, right. we can tell you about all kinds of cool stuff. Yep. Putting up pictures of behind the scenes stuff from the it's GSL true. 2. Game 2 is going to be on Crevasse. Another substantially Crevasse. large map. Crevasse. Crevasse. That's how uh, some people pr pronounce it Crevice. Crevice. That's kind of how I've always heard it pronounced. But then on the flight over here, I watched an episode of that show with that guy. What? And oh, Bear, that, oh, Bear, that one. Bear Grylls calls them crevasses. Bear Grylls. Don't so, get me started. He's I don't know. like, <sighs> Bear Grylls. Oh, He's like, okay, off. when you're lost in the wilderness, you want to stay safe. So, of course, the answer to that, let's climb down a waterfall. Let's parkour through the desert. Well, they have to get to the safe zone or something, right? I don't yeah, know. I've like, one episode. I'll have to make it to that glacier. Silly, anyway. I've used the glacier to know which direction to go. But you know what? Is even more hardcore than that. What? Than being out in the wilderness. Survivor Man's way more hardcore than Bear Grylls. Well, you know what's even more I'm hardcore than it. that? What's that? The GSL Code A Finals! You're right! StarCraft 2. Man, you know what? When you've got Blue Flame Hellions in your mineral line, you better drink your own piss because you are in trouble. <laughs> uh, game 2 on Crevasse is going to get started very shortly. <laughs> Um, we're having a little bit of trouble getting all the players in the room, but we're going to get started pretty quickly here. Um, so make sure you're hashtagging everything. Are you I really, okay? I really hope Blue Flame Hellions don't make it in the mineral line. 
I don't know if we can show that on the stream no. now. Well, I guess um, I guess instead of your own piss, you could drink the green tea that <laughs> that is kindly being That's offered here at the GSL studio. Again, if you are in Seoul, a little bit better, I think. The season is not over yet. We've got the up and down matches next week, so yeah, if you're in Seoul, absolutely. I mean, people come down here and they're like, "Oh, we're in Seoul for like three days," and of course, we want to spend one of those down at the GSL. Man, the up and down matches, more drama than a week's worth of soap operas. Yeah, it's true. And, and remember, speaking of drama. After these matches, when the winner is determined, they will oh, actually yeah. be picking the up and down groups. We'll actually be able to see for the first time who is going to face who in the up and down matches and be able to judge what chances players have of getting into It'll Code S cool. or falling down to Code A. Who's going to get picked? Who's going to get picked last? If you're a nerd like me, you know all about getting picked last. But it doesn't matter because you're playing Magic the Gathering on all your recesses. Anyway, yeah. let's get in the game and see what happens on Kravaz.